in the duke's court when duke and shylock were conversing upon showing mercy to antonio when shylock said that he cannot show any mercy to this man though he is harmless to him he is not bound to show any mercy bassanio comes in between and speaks this is no answer though unfeeling man to excuse the current of their cruelty shylock i'm not bound to please thee with my answer bassanio do all men kill the things they do not love shylock hates any man the thing he would not kill bassanio every offence is not a hate at first shylock what wouldst do have a serpent sting thee twice fine here bassanio tells that the answer what you are giving shylock is not at all satisfactory and you are speaking so heartlessly when we are expecting some mercy from you why are you so cruel shylock tells that i am not here to please you bassanio or anyone here so bassanio questions him do all men kill anything they do not like is it right to kill what we don't like so he tells that shylock gives a nice answer that why is there any man who does not kill that he truly hates so he for an interrogation he gives another interrogative sentence here every fault is not hated from the very beginning again bassanio tells that nobody is hated from the beginning man then why why are you hating antonio so much so shylock answers very nicely for that what would you allow a snake sting you twice will you allow a serpent when snake to sting to bite twice antonio i pray you think your question with you you may as well go stand upon the beach and bid them bid the main flood bait his unusual height so here antonio tells that i request you vasanyo please don't argue with a jew you know with whom you are arguing if you go on a sea shore beach if you ask ocean not to tide or rise its waves it may come down okay it may come down you may as well use question with the wolf why he hath made the eve bleed for the lamb and again second example he gives even if you can go if you want to request go to one ul and request to leave mother sheep because that small lamb will be waiting for its mother then ulf may show some mercy okay third example you may as well bid the mountain pines to wag their high tops and to make no noise when they are threatened with the gusts of heavens okay you may as well do anything most hard as seek to soften that than which what's harder again third example he gives if at all you want to seek mercy sometimes you go to the top of the high mountain and ask that thorny plants not to make noise they may stop okay from blowing and making that hustling voice noise but in this world it is very hard and very difficult to speak with this person who is harder than the rising waves ulf and the plants on the top mountain his jeev is hard therefore i do beseech you make no more offers use no further means but with all brief and plain convenience let me have judgment and the jeev his will please don't request this jew because he is very harder and very plainly i am telling you that it is impossible to soften the heart of the jew so i request you not to request any more and please allow the court to take the convenient judgment and let me respect the judgment and let the jew have his will basan for they 3000 ducats here is 6 in between this conversation bassanio offers shylock in place of 6 3000 ducats please take 6000 ducats double the amount what antonio has taken on behalf of bassanio shylock 
if every ducat in 6000 ducats were in six parts and every part a ducat i would not draw them i would have my bond fine basanio you are offering me double the amount even if you divide this each ducat into six part and multiply into six and then again offer me it to me then also i will not take you take your amount duke how shall the hope for mercy rendering none how how dear shylock if you don't show mercy to anything and anyone how will you expect mercy from anyone shylock what judgment shall i dread doing no wrong <clears throat> you have among you many a purchased slave which pike you asses and your dogs and mules you use in abject and in slavish parts because you bought them shall i say to you let them be free marry them to your heirs why is sweet they under burdens let's their beds let their beds be made as soft as yours and let their pallets be seasoned with such viands you shall you will answer the slaves are ours so do i answer you the pound of flesh which i demand of him is rarely brought this mine and i will have it if you deny me fie upon your law there is no force in the decrees of man is a stand for judgment answer shall i have it fine when duke requested for mercy shylock said that what for for what i should fear of judgment because i have not done anything wrong and you christians you have many slaves and you to treat them very badly will you free them from their slavery and will you allow your daughters to marry their slaves will you give them soft bed and also season their plates with the food what you eat if i say this you will tell aha the slaves are purchased by us so they should serve us same way antonio he is bound to me because i have given him 3000 ducats and he did not give me he is like my slave now and according to the bond with in which i should i am bound to take one pound of blood sorry flush now i want that nothing i am going against in case if you deny to give me justice then nonsense and shame on your justice of venice so dear duke shall i take my one pound of flush duke upon my power i may dismiss this court unless bellario alone doctor whom i have sent for to determine this come here today with my authority shylock i can dismiss this court or adjourn the court unless bellario a learned doctor of law i have requested to come here to see this case today he will be reaching this place salarino my lord here stays without a messenger with letter from the doctor new come from padau so salarino in between tells that my lord a messenger is standing outside he tells that he is a messenger from padau duke bring us the letter call the messenger so that messenger was welcomed inside the court good chair antonio what man courage yet the jew shall have my flesh blood bones and all yer thou shalt lose for me one drop of blood antonio please cheer up have courage my friend because before the jew extends his knife towards you he should cut my blood my flesh my bones i will give my life for you my dear friend before you lose one drop of blood on my account whatever on behalf of me because of me you should not lose your life i am ready to give my life antonio i am tainted whether of whether of the flaw meetest of for death the weakest kind of fruit drops earliest to the ground and so let me you cannot better be employed basanio than to than to live still and write my epitaph okay antonio with lots of humbleness he tells that i am like a sick sheep my dear friend because sick sheep is selected first to kill see my condition and my position and my problems are so high that and now i am treated as sick sheep i should be killed more suitable to solter first among the other sheep and i am like the weakest fruit who should fall from the tree first and i should die here antonio is telling that he is like six sheep and a weak fruit in the tree it will be a fitting task for you 
Basanyo to live and write the inscription on my tombstone. Epitaph means tombstone. So he is telling that my dear friend Anton Basanyo, you should live long. Your life is awaited and you should live. You have started a new life and you should live stronger to write my name on my tombstone. Epitaph. You can see on the Christian's graveyard or grave that they place one stone and write the person's name and birth year and death year. Okay, so Antonio requests Bassanio to stay alive and to write the epitaph after the death of Antonio. Meanwhile, internaries are dressed like a young lawyer's clerk. Lawyer's clerk. So, who enters in the scene here? Nerissa enters. Duke came from Padau, from Bellario. Duke questions, oh, oh you have come from Dr. Bellario, from Padau. Nerissa. From both, my lord. Bellario greets your grace. Yes, I am from Dr. Bellario and also from Padau. So, I am from both. Actually, Dr. Bellario sends you the greetings, my lord. She presents a letter. She presents a letter here. In next slide, we will see what will happen with this letter. Okay. How Portia enters inside the court. That itself is very important. Let me read out the letter and explain you in next class.